How to work with GitHub and Data Integration Studio. The following use cases are supported. Create a new job, modify an existing job, compare and manage versions, delete an existing job, or restore a job and one of its versions. Create a new DI job use case. The scenario is the following. You start a new DI job, then make it available uh, to other developers. For that, we need to create a new job. We will call the job list job. On the diagram, we will drop a very simple user written code. And in the code, we type a very simple SAS code and we version it to check it later in GitHub. We save the job and we run it. In the folders where we save the job, we will archive as a SAS package and the description. This is version A of my job, the initial one. Once we hit OK, the plugin is synchronizing with the repository. Once the archiving is complete, I can refresh and see the job in um, GitHub. And this is the packaged version of this data integration studio job. Second use case, modify a DI job. For example, you need to continue working on a job already published on GitHub by another developer. You can open the job and make changes inside the code. We open list SAS product and in the code part, you will add version B instead of version A. We save it and then we archive it as a SAS package. but version B instead. Once the processing is complete, we can refresh our GitHub project and we see that the second version has been synchronized into the repository. Next use case is to compare two versions compare different versions of the same DI job, go to archived SAS packages, select the version you want to, con to compare, and an existing job. Press compare to, and scroll to compare the changes. We can look at the different changes in the source code. So here we can see version B and version A. Next use case is restore a job which was already deleted. Go to the job already created, right click and delete. The job has not been deleted from DI Studio, so from the SAS repository, but not from GitHub. Let's say now we want to restore the deleted job from GitHub. We go to archived SAS package. We can choose the latest version by date and time, and we can import it. In this way, we can restore to the latest version and saved in the GitHub repository. How to delete permanently? First of all, you need to delete the job. As we said, this is not deleting the archived packages. So you have to go into archived SAS packages. Delete version B. 
delete version A. And then refresh the GitHub repository. So we see that the list job SPK package has been removed. If we downloaded a copy to a zip file before deleting all the um, packages, we can also restore it. We can go to downloads, look at SAS program master, and we can see the latest version of the file. We can take a peek into the archives and we can see that the latest version available was version B.